Well, first off, I'd like to say thanks for taking the time to look at my videos. I'm just trying to help here, you know. I mean, they're not the most professional. Um, hopefully this microphone fixes the problem that we had in the last video. So this is uh, solo guitar style, tone one. It's the American high gain. Um, I didn't really mess with the settings too much, just a little bit. Um, I think it sounds pretty good, so uh, let's listen to it. Let's see what it sounds like. Maybe like play some rhythm, see what the rhythm sounds like. That's like the kind of stuff I play. I don't know. Probably don't like it. Maybe you do. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> So you get a pretty good rock tone out of it. It sounds pretty good, I think. Um, you know, I play some rock, some metal, um, some punk, some emo. Um, I made a reference to this band right here in the last video. They're a pretty good band. And if you never heard them, maybe you should check them out. That's that, uh, this riff. <laughs> He plays it a lot better than I do. And that's really not the riff, but it's something like that. Something along those lines. But uh, it's a good song. But you should check them out. Pretty good. Good band. Um, every every record. All of them. Except for the He's a Chef. That was on Yo Gabba Gabba Hey or some crap like that. Um, yeah. I keep looking over there into the screen. I should be looking into the camera and say, hey, what's up? How's it going? But anyway, you can play some metal with this. You can get some metal tones out of it. Sounds pretty damn good. Good for like some chugga chugga, chugga 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 chugga. Maybe like old school hardcore or, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think that sounds pretty good. That's an E standard. You know, it's just a little chug chug and just a standard tuning. You know, I'm not dropped or anything. Maybe I'll grab that guitar over there. That's in C standard. And maybe I will. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> So as you can see, it does chug. It chugs pretty good. Not too bad. I mean, uh, it could be better. You know, it's just the American high gain. You know, nothing nothing fancy. But uh, you can get some good tones out of it. You know, running in your interface. That's running their stereo. Uh, it sounds pretty good, I think. I don't know. You know, you can get some pretty good full chord sounding, like, sounds like... <laughs> You could play like, you know, get some good single note, like leady tones out of it, sounds, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It gets pretty good, like, uh, I think, excellent sustain, you know? I mean, you can... You can hold that note forever. I mean, that's a pretty long time right there. I 
you know you can get some punk rock sounds out of it you know like maybe maybe like some like no effects type you know something like that something along those lines <laughs> Yeah, I kind of fucked that up, but you you get the idea, you know, that or like some basic like four chord punk rock stuff like. I mean, that sounds pretty good. I mean, it's a little practice amplifier. I mean, you take this uh, in your basement, you know, some of us do take it in your basement, hook it up to uh, an interface. I'm using a UMC 404 HD that uh, I was gifted. Um, my one buddy, he uh, upgraded to the Apollo interface. Wow, that thing is absolutely amazing. I mean, but you know, I, I do, you know, screw around in my basement, you know, there's nothing professional here. And um, it does a, it does a trick. You know, um, I changed my setup around a little bit. Right now I'm running into a, a Xenix uh, small mixer, you know, that I had laying around. And everything's running into that and then just two channels out into there. So I have the mic running into there and I have the amp running into there and I have two more channels that I can hook up whatever, you know. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, we'll do a video on this thing. There we go. This is a moor. 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 Moo. Like a cow. And it's a GE150. Got it on eBay. Uh, it was supposed to be here um, when we had some studio time booked. And I wanted to use this, you know, just for extra tracks or whatever. And um, it never it never came. So uh, I got lucky. Um, you know, I got a little bit off on it. They gave me, uh, I think I paid like seventy seven dollars total for it. I mean, it's it was I bought it for one hundred and seventeen. So that's a pretty good deal. Still sucks though. I would have liked to use it in the studio, but let me tell you something. I did have the Spark Forty along, and I used that. And what I did is I ran my guitar into the spark and then I came out of the spark through the headphone jack because the spark 40 doesn't have outputs. And uh, I made my own summing cable. If you don't know what that is, you should probably look it up. Don't ever plug uh, a stereo to mono cable, like just a regular like store-bought one. You'll, you'll fry your, uh, your output amp like on your headphone amp, you know, for your headphone out. You have to make a thing, it's called a, well, you can buy it. It's called a summing cable. And what it does is it puts two resistors in line to, to take the load. Like, it's like a dummy load. That way you don't fry uh, bridging it. Yeah, something like that. But buy a summing cable if you're going to come out of the headphone jack into a regular amplifier and I came out of that into a, a Yamaha T100 into an Ampeg 1971 uh, V4 cabinet big fan of those they sound really good it's like 11 ply birch you know they're just monster monster sound sounds great but I'm telling you you can get some really really good tones out of this amplifier here I mean, and you have right here, I mean, you can add all these pedals. You know, you have a noise gate here. You click on here. All right, 
I guess I never clicked on that one. Look, compression wall, you have LA compression, sustained compression, red comp, base compression, optical compression, and you can buy the Jimi Hendrix legendary wah. I don't know how much that costs. I'm not I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm just doing this for the hell of it, just to uh, share my experience, you know. Um, you got boosters, you got the, the Klon, you got the tube drive, you have an overdrive. There's some Jimi Hendrix stuff right there. More Jimi Hendrix fuzz. You have a regular fuzz face. You have a black op, bass muff, guitar muff. The bass master. Now, now that's that's a pretty good pedal. My buddy has one. It's pretty 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 nice. And the SAB driver, whatever that is. But I mean, these are all your options. You have mod EQ. You got a tremolo pedal, a digital chorus pedal, flanger, phaser, vibrato, univibe. Oh, big big shout out to Speedo. He likes the univibe. Uh, cloner chorus, classic vibe, tremolator, tremolo square, guitar EQ, and bass EQ. In the delay section, you have digital delay, echo filter, vintage delay, reverse delay, multi head, and echo tape. So, I mean, that, there's so many options here. I didn't even get in the reverb yet. You got Room Studio A, Chamber, Hall Natural, Plate Short, Hall Ambient, Plate Rich, Hall Medium, Plate Long, and Room Studio B. Pretty cool stuff here, man. And to get out of that, you just click on that. And then you can click on this. There's the amplifier if you want to tweak any of the settings. You can do it right here in the app, or you can do it right on the amplifier. And if you hold down on the, the selector switch there, it'll save your settings. So that's pretty cool. And then you got the looper. We'll get to that one of these days here, I promise. So uh, maybe we'll go and uh, grab that, that C standard guitar over there. I don't know if it's still in tune, and I'm not even going to waste your time trying to tune it. But uh, we'll see. Hold on. All right, this should be interesting. Yeah, I might need tune. Let's see. You hold the tuner down there, and then the tuner pops up on your phone. It's kind of handy. It's real touchy. You can either close this out right here, or you can tap on this, and it'll get rid of the tuner, take you right back into the application.
I haven't played C standard guitar in a long, long time. <laughs> Saver came up. Oh man, boy, this video, I'll tell you. Well, the camera's still rolling. Hopefully, you're still here watching this. This long, drawn out video with no editing, no nothing, just all my fuck ups, and you know, you can just uh, laugh along with me. <laughs> But I mean, you get a you get a pretty good tone out of this. I mean, you can raise the gain all the way. <laughs> Shit metal. That's what I play. It's pretty bad.
Uh, a band that was uh, kind of local to the area. They were called Burial Ground. They did a split with Drag Body, and that that one song that was on it, and it it's amazing. It's a really really good song. That was like twenty something twenty five years ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Good times. <laughs> some good good uh heavy sounds out of this one setting and there's another setting uh, this is the 6508 and then there's the I don't know what happened there three Thank you. 
enough of that bullshit. That sounds a little better. Need a new pick. This thing is worn out to hell.